Tenants who live in an apartment complex they thought was in a safe area feel anxious after a man was shot outside the leasing office. It happened at the Gables Midtown Apartments, right right off Monroe Drive, a few blocks up from Ansley Mall. Channel 2's Tom Jones live now there for us. And Tom, you spoke to one man who had an appointment to discuss moving into that complex. Yeah, talk about bad timing, George. The shooting happened outside the leasing office here. Well, it was inside the leasing office where Angelo Batista was scheduled to meet and talk about moving in. Then he arrived and saw all the police. He's trying to come in here and then there's police blocking the entrance. Angelo Batista wondered why police and crime scene tape were outside the Gables Midtown Apartments leasing office. The same leasing office he had a one o'clock appointment to talk about moving in. I told him a man had been shot here. I couldn't believe it because Again, this was recommended to me that it was a safe neighborhood. It was just afternoon around 1230 when police say two men got into a heated argument outside the leasing office. It escalated to gunfire where a person was shot uh, several times to the body. The victim, believed to be between the ages of 25 and 30, was rushed to the hospital. Police say the shooter got away. Right now we're trying to identify that suspect. We don't believe he's in the area right now. Tenants told me they moved here because it's a safe, quiet area. Omen Roberts says he moved in after arriving from Chicago. I tried to leave a place of danger and now I'm moving. I pay all this money to stay here. Tenants were anxious watching police conduct their investigation. The crime scene tape and a canine sniffing for clues made them uneasy. Even prospective tenants like Bautista found it hard to erase the images of someone getting shot at a place he was looking to move into. At this point, you know, I probably might look for somewhere else. And police say the victim is in surgery and is in critical condition. They are looking at surveillance cameras to try to see if there's any video of the shooting or the suspect. We're live in Midtown. Tom Jones, Channel 2 Action News.